Ah, <sighs> after a long day of adventuring with your friends, it's always nice to sit down in someone else's backyard drinking someone else's coffee or tea. And then stealing someone else's belongings too. It's just a fabulous thing to do, especially after so much adventuring. And with that, what's up everybody? It's Kyoto, and we're back with Popolo Croix. In the last episode, we've made it here to the flying city of Bryonia. But, it looks like we're not the only ones who are visiting. If you recognize those colors, you would know exactly who's here. But for now, we go around pillaging people's houses. I mean, taking things as donations for our kingdom from people's houses without their permission. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do. As usual, Brownie is a little bit hard to get back to because this is the mid-game. We're getting to the real meat and potatoes of the game. It won't open it. It will never open. No matter how many times you try, it's useless. It absolutely won't open. Go back. My jeez. All I want to do is sell you some insurance. Last house. All right. Shower me with those forests. What are these things? It's some sort of mysterious material. Well, well, well. I guess we'll get back into that shortly. First things first, try the door. <laughs> what? Who's that? Mysterious voice! Whoa! Woo! Wow! What is that, five somersaults and then you land on your head? So, bravo, Prince, bravo. That's a skill only a prince like you could do. Are you okay? Are you hurt? I'm fine, thank you. I'm Karpa, Karpa of the East. I'm Zoldan. Remember me as Zoldan of the North. I'm Doran. Doran of the West. Pietro, the son of the dragon. We weren't expecting you way out here. Who are all of you? How do you know my name? Watch out, Pietro! These are not men like you and I! I think they are up to no good. I've got a bad feeling about them. Hey, you there. What makes you think? That you can talk about Yaboo like that. Do you want trouble, you stupid knight? Hold on, Zoldan. I'm Yaboo, leader of the Big Four. We serve our lord, the Ice Demon. The Ice Demon? I don't care if you're the Big Four or the Big Fifty. I think you are all bad news. The White Knight challenges you. We'd love to take you up on it, but we have more important things to do. Do you understand? You are mere worms, not even worth our time. Mere worms? Are you referring to us? I'm not gonna take that! Excuse us, pathetic little worms. What a lovely person! Giving us nicknames like that, it's like we're already friends. They were such whips, calling us names and then running away. What were they up to in the first place? Hmm. Could have guessed. I think it's locked. I pushed and pulled and it still won't open. Have you tried a key? Maybe we know a master lock picker. You are not the four people who are just here? You are not the ones who call themselves the Big Four? Indeed, we are not the Big Four. We are here to search for a book. We believe it to be in Bryonia's library. Is this true? Okay, I will unlock the door. There, it's locked. I'm safe for now. But you're trapped in here with me. <laughs> Who are you? Did you come from Earth? Yes, we did. My name is Kai. He is Prince Pietro, and this is the White Knight. My name is Sabo. I'm the only one left in Bryonia. The only one? Yes. I'm all alone, and I was living a nice, quiet life until a few days ago. These four big creatures showed up and disturbed my peaceful existence. They threatened me and wanted me to give them the Book of Darkness. I was afraid of them and feared for my life, so I ran and hid in my house. Well, at least they didn't get it. Huh? What's this? Book of Darkness that you're talking about? The book can be used as a guide to travel to and from the world of darkness. You mean there's really such a book? I never lie. Let me guess. You also came here looking for the Book of Darkness. Well... 
Now I see why you're here. But no one must have the book. Why is that? Just think how dangerous it could be. If one is allowed to travel back and forth between Earth and the world of darkness, there would no longer be a border between the living and the dead. The people of Bryonia realized this and placed a seal on the book. The seal must never be broken. Never? Never! The only way that the seal can be destroyed is to destroy the console system, the heart of Bryonia. But the key to breaking the seal is also the destruction of Bryonia. Then we can't get the Book of Darkness either, can we? Of course not! Once these four creatures discover that there's no way to get the book, they will give up and leave. I will wait here until they leave. You should go back home. No way! That's not fair! You just want us to give up and go? We wasted our time coming up here. That's not my fault. After all, I didn't ask you to come. You came here uninvited. I didn't want you in my house. Get out of here! Please tell us more about the history of Bryonia. I don't fully understand Bryonia myself, or how it floats, or its connection to the Book of Darkness. Alright, since you insist on staying, I will tell you what I know. And you will learn a great deal about Bryonia by simply being here. Three thousand years ago, Bryonia was a great and prosperous nation. With our advanced technologies, we discovered a method to harness the dark force of the universe. This force was called Chaos. One day, a fortune teller from the royal palace gave a prophecy, foretelling a natural disaster that would cause our continent to sink into the sea. The king ordered his scientists to create a machine that would contain and control the power of chaos. They called it Baru. It was kept beneath the palace. With the energy from Baru, Brionia survived in the sky. But the power in Baru was a dark power, and soon it awakened an evil spirit called Barbaran from the depths of Remoria. A horrible war broke out, with Barbaran inciting great hatred and fear. In the end, Barbaran was defeated and sealed in a cave in the deepest sea of Remoria. Much damage had been done, however. Even though Brionia remained in the sky, the terrible power of Baru had taken its toll. Everyone who lived on Brionia became immortal, never growing older, and never dying. Many could not stand such a fate, and left this floating island that was once their home, so that they might take destiny back into their own hands. But I remained here. Whether it was a right decision or not, I chose to stay, so that I could study all the great works of Brionian literature and history, to learn from both our triumphs and our mistakes, so that possibly such an abomination might never happen again. Cool story, bro. Oh, now I understand. Thank you for explaining it to us. Yeah, thanks. I've never heard of anything about Bryonia before. I sure know about it now. Huh? What? Uh, nothing to see here. Ta-ta. Huh? What's the Gammy Gammy Devil doing here? That strange-looking airplane parked in town must belong to him. I think he came here to help us. Maybe he's trying to get us out of here. Gammy Gammy Devil coming to help us? I didn't think he was a nice person. Who the heck is the Gammy Gammy Devil, and how did he manage to unlock my door when the others failed? That's a good question, you know? <laughs> Apparently, the big four can't open a, a locked door, but the Gammy Gammy Devil can. What a god. He's truly the one true god of this world. Oh my, what a crazy day this has been. I'll never be able to relax now. Oh well, I don't care who shows up next. I'm sure whoever does will turn around and leave me alone. What's that shaking? S Sabo! What just happened? Let's go and find out! <laughs> you said it! 
And with that note, let us move on inside the library of Bryonia. Sabo! Pietro, I'm sensing disaster. The earthquake. It was caused by the ones who came to de destroy Bryonia's central control system. If the control system is destroyed, the island will no longer be able to float. We will crash! I have a favor to ask. They are looking for the Book of Darkness. I need you to stop them. You should head through that room there, and into the next room. The auto men that were on standby are malfunctioning because the system has been damaged. They are laborer cyborgs, but the malfunction has caused them to become violent. Please be careful. I'll go to the control tower. I will try to find out the problem and fix it. Please go and do this for us. You got it, Sabo! Going alone isn't such a good idea. I have a bad feeling about this. Okay, so... Oh, no! Not the first fight here! Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Okay. So, this area is difficult when you're just coming into this place. These guys pack a punch. So, I am not sure if I should just attack. Maybe? Let's go for it. Uh, oh jeez, oh jeez, can I, can I hit you? There we go. Hooah! Kai actually does a lot more damage than Narcia does, because she is a physical attacker. So it's a little bit nicer in that case. We aren't able to use any abilities that we need to, though. There we go. Hooah! They haven't used any abilities yet, but their abilities are devastating, so I'm trying not to let them use it. Dino skill and dolphin skill has been learned. Alright. So there's just a loud buzzing sound going on. Oh god, this place sucks! I'm trying not to fight that much, because... Holy crap, these mobs are difficult, like I said. Oh, oh okay, new guy. Uh, first things first, take him out before he can do anything. That's probably the best method, right? Let's do it. Are you dead? Yes. Okay, I was just making sure. Sweet. Combat knight. Don't want him to touch me. So it's charge. Can we do the ability? No, it's a different ability for hers. I can't remember the positioning for Kai and Pietro. But I guess we'll get there. Alright. Keep going. On these small little ledges, we can't face monsters, which is perfect for us. Hey! What you doing here? <laughs> he just freaked out. Wait! Old man! Old man? Are you talking to me? Huh? Who are you? And what happened to Narcia? Narcia? I'm Kai, her friend. Kai? Yes, I'm Kai. Hey, old man. Why are you running away? Why? Well, because I thought you were going to hurt me. Huh? We don't have any reasons to hurt you. Please don't run away. Come fight with us. Fight with you? Kai, what are you saying? You're asking him to join us? Listen, White Knight. Hey, Gammy Gammy Devil, let's talk. There are powerful wizards called the Big Four who are not far from here. I don't think we can defeat them by ourselves. Would you please help us out? You want my help? Yes, we do. Oh, uh, well, I see that you're a small force. Hmm, you can really use my powerful strength and cunning agility. Let me think about this for a moment. Oh, all right, I'll join you. I will offer my help for the task at hand, but don't dare get in my way or hold me back. Sweet. Now he's with us. Dalaimut, Bara, Muruto, Rik, Yat, Lute. Dalaimut, Bara, Muruto, Rik, Yat, Lute. Book. 
Hey, hand over that book! What, to you? Why, we grabbed it first. The ancient dark legends declare that this book belongs to us. Sir Yabu, our victory is eminent. Yes, with the powers inside this book, we can bring back the Ice Demon. We shall head for Sword Mountain, then we'll open up the gate to the world of darkness and fulfill our Lord's wishes. Hey, hey, you there! I've got something to show you! If there's going to be a devil in this world, it's me! I'm the great Gammy Gammy Devil! Now I will display my magnificent strength! God, just missed him! <laughs> See you later. Drat! Come back here and fight me! They made off with a book of darkness. Pietro, what should we do now? Let's go to the control tower and ask Sabo what to do. Oh no. So we know that Sabo is working on the control tower, but is there really anything that he can do? I mean, he's not even an engineer. Oh god, no! Perfect, we got him. Let's get out of here. I can't take this place anymore. Oh, just let me out, please! Oh god, okay, wow. Uh, that fight totally destroyed Pietro. I'm just gonna use a leaf, because why not, right? I mean, we have mana, but our healing abilities kind of suck. Without Narcia, at least. And there's one other really good healer in this game, but we don't have her just yet. Of course, leave. Keep going up. Oh god, jeez, not on the small hallway. Oh, my beautiful, beautiful one-shot slicing wind in narrow hallways. At least, that's one of the good things you can do here. But we got to heal. This is ridiculous. Probably uh, Kai's heal. Don't want to have any problems. There's the doorway, right? Is that a doorway? No, it's not. <laughs> well, that's just great. When I operate the panel, information is displayed on the monitor above. It's just too difficult to operate. Well, that's just great too. So what are we supposed to do here? Oh my god, I just got hit by an AoE. That damage is so much. Okay, we're good though. I totally thought you could go in here, but I guess not. Uh, does that mean we go all the way back down? You gotta be joking me. Why did we even come up here if he wasn't even here? Oh, this is the way we're supposed to go? Oh, okay. Why didn't it mention that? Because Sabo wasn't here, he was at the top of the stairs. Sabo. Oh, Pietro. Sabo, I'm sorry. I let Yabu get away with the Book of Darkness. I see. I tried my best to restore the control system, but it was beyond repair. He had been very badly damaged. If we don't do something fast, Bryonia will crash into Popolacroix. What? There must be a way out of this mess. We need to leave now. I'll go to the power room underground and destroy Baru's heart. Baru's heart? Yes, Baru's heart is the power source of Bryonia. I must destroy it. That will stop Bryonia from moving. Hopefully before it reaches Popolokrois. We can help. No, you must go. I'm the only one who knows what to do. But it will be dangerous. We can help protect you. What is that? Oh, you might have guessed, huh? That is Baru's heart. That's it? The control system for Baru's heart has also been damaged. Sabo, let us handle this! Thank you, be careful. That machine could kill you. Got it! Oh, I didn't heal before going in here. Oh, no! Oh, I guess it'll be okay for now. I guess, I guess you gotta heal first. Let's do that. Oh, mine. And we're just gonna charge everyone's attack right now. 
Code Red. So he brings in an ally with Code Red. I guess that's something to worry about. But that means attack the boss and not him. We're just gonna go ahead and start off with some quick damage hitting both him and, uh, and his little add-on, I guess. So I'm gonna try to do as many powered up AoE attacks that I can. Uh, ooh, perfect time. Aerial Slash. So what I want to do is get on opposite sides, because he might throw an AoE in a line. I'm not exactly sure, I can't remember this boss fight. I don't remember any of the boss fights, really. I just know that they actually take quite a bit of position to get them right. But we don't use our mana during actual fights that much, so it's actually good to just, um... To use them all in a boss fight, I guess, to save them all. You don't have to play that way, of course. So if I recall, yes, we can still use the ability. Pietro, incoming. Air that did like nothing to him. Holy crap! All right. Oh, he keeps healing for 300 each turn. That's not good. Um, I guess they're gonna run out of mana eventually. Do what we can. Sleep wave. Oh no! Okay. Whew! Man, no one got affected by that. That is insane. Let's see if Dragon Fang is better than sleeping slicing wind. Okay, so that's about a little a little over 2100 or 210. It's not bad. Maybe 220-ish. I know that Aerial Slash is super strong, so I'm gonna keep using that. And so is Gammy Missile. Oh, sweet! We beat him past his healing! Oh my goodness, this is why I love White Knight so much. And Gammy Gammy Devil's been pretty good too, to be honest with you. But his skills cost too much mana compared to White Knight. What? Bryony is falling because we destroyed Baru's heart! How do we escape Bryonia? I don't want to die! Do something! Uh-huh. Wait, are we leaving? We didn't even check out the rest of this area. Nope, <laughs> I am not leaving. How dare you guys. Look at that. There's another part of this building back here. He came from underground. Th this is no underground. Are you kidding me? There's not even a stair down. Wow, Sabo's such a liar. Thank goodness, you're alive! We were able to destroy Baru's heart! Good, you did it! Oh, man. Yeah. What's wrong, Sabo? Now that Baru's heart is gone, it means I've lost my immortality. What will you do now? I will ask the gods to reassign me to this planet, and I will work here like everyone else. Sabo, we should leave now. May I ride in your yacht? Of course you can. Wait, there's something I need to bring with me. Go ahead, I'll catch up with you. <laughs> hey, where are you going? Well, my job is done here. I'm getting out of here. Gammy Gammy Devil? Don't worry about me. I don't want to ride in your shabby little vessel. I'm fine on my own. Bye now. Wait. Thank you for your help. Yeah, shucks, it was nothing. That's what he meant to say, right? What's Sabo getting from the castle? I don't know. I'm really curious to find out. We need to get off here before Bionia crashes. Bryonia crashes with us on it. I agree. All right. Here we are. Off the island, finally. Maybe we can get out of this place. Where did I park? You know, this is probably... Oh, well, <laughs> thank goodness we found it on chance. <laughs> Pietro, why don't you get things ready before Sabo comes? All right, let's get out of here. All right, let's hurry. Hey! Wait for me! Nah, I don't feel like it. Sorry to keep you all waiting. Sabo, it's too dangerous. Go back inside. All right. 
<laughs> and of course he goes in there too, because he's afraid of heights. Pichu, hurry! If we stay here much longer, we'll be smashed! Okay, well, starting the book two, the Ice Demon, I think this is a good place to end off. We will begin from here. Um, quite possibly the next episode. Um, but let's go ahead and read this text, I guess. Oh no, this is terrible! The Book of Darkness has been stolen! Yes. It was a good thing Bryonia fell into the ocean before reaching Popolokroys. I heard that Kai helped you. She is quite a girl. I shudder to think what could have happened to her, especially over the ocean. When I see her, I'm going to have to give her a stern talking to. No, please don't punish her. Kai saved our lives when we needed her the most. Kai was strong and fearless. She, was been a, she has always been a very good friend. Alright, I'll reconsider. If you say so, I will forgive her. I'm so relieved. I mean, I'm just glad that Kai won't be punished. Anyway, I wonder where Kai went. I wanted to thank her. She will be back again soon. But right now, you have another problem to deal with. The big four are headed for Sword Mountain. How are you going to stop them? Looks like I'll need to borrow that yacht again. Urgent notice. A message from the great Gammy Gammy Devil. An invitation for Lady Narcia. To my dear Narcia and your friends, I, Gammy Gammy Devil, am offering my services to you and that idiot prince. According to the Chronicle, Raduk and the World of Darkness that I retreat from Bionia. That old man Raduk knows a lot about the World of Darkness. He lives on Sword Mountain. Come to Gammy Gammy City. I will pick you up in my super high-tech flying machine. Looking forward to seeing you. XOXO. Lots of love. Signed, the genius Gammy Gammy Devil. The end. What a nice message. Gammy Gammy Devil? Let's go, Pietro. Wait, I know he joined us and fought with us in Bryonia, but he is a con artist. I don't trust him. I think he's not such a bad guy. Hmm. Sometimes you're too nice, Narcia. Look, he did send a message saying he wanted to help. Don't you think you should check it out? Are you on his side too? Wait, Knight, we should go. Oh, don't look at me like that! Okay, fine, I'll go. But know this! He will have to face my sword if he tries to harm any of you! Oh my, how gallant! It's a part of the knight's job! 
And with that, we shall end this episode here. We destroyed the heart of Bryonia, Baru. And now, we are going to destroy, I don't know, the big four, I guess. Talk to Raduk, do some other things, meet with the Gammy Gammy Devil. And that'll all happen in the next episode, maybe, hopefully. So I'll see you all then. This has been Kyoto. Thank you all for watching. Hope you're liking it so far. And I will see you all in the next one. Later!